Readings for the day, 2022, on Tuesday, July 26th. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, Tuesday of the seventh week. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are from God. Now concerning the matters which now concerning the matters about which you wrote it is well for a man not to touch a woman but because of the temptation of immorality each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband the husband should give to his wife her conjugal rights and likewise the wife to her husband for the wife does not rule over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise, the husband does not rule over his own body, but the wife does. Do not refuse one another except perhaps by agreement for a season, that you may devote yourselves to prayer, but then come together again, lest Satan tempt you to Sent, lest Satan tempt you through lack of self-control. I say this by way of confession, not of command. I wish that all were as I myself am, but each has his own special gift from God, one of one kind and one of another. To the unmarried and the widows, I say that it is well for them to remain single as I do. But if they cannot exercise self-control, they should marry. For it is better to marry than to be aflame with passion. To be married, I give charge, but not I, but the Lord, that the wife should not separate from her husband, but if she does, let her remain single, or else be reconciled to her husband. And that the husband should not divorce the wife. To rest, to the rest I say, not the Lord, that if any brother has a wife who is an unbeliever and she consents to live with him, he should not divorce her. The Gospel, Tuesday of the seventh week of Matthew. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Herod, the Tetrarch, heard about the fame of Jesus and said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That, that is why these powers are at work in him. For Herod, has, for Herod had seized John and bound him, and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And though he wanted to put him to death, he feared the people, because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and pleased Herod, so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. And the king was sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, <coughs> He commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in prison. And his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it. And they went and told Jesus. Now when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a lonely place apart. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. The readings for the commemoration. The epistle for the holy woman. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, 
Before faith came, we were confined under the law, kept under restraint until faith should be revealed. So that the law was our custodian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. But now the, that faith has come, we are no longer under a custodian, for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as for as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus, and if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no better than a slave, though he is the owner of all the real estate, but he is under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us, when we were children, we were slaves to the elemental spirits of the universe. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. The Gospel for the Holy Woman. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, a great crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had a flow of blood for twelve years and who had suffered much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and, and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I shall be made well. And immediately the hemorrhage ceased, and she felt in her body that she was healed and her disease, of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone forth from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And the disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had been done to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synexarion, Synexarion from the Manaion. On July 26th, we commemorate the Holy Hieromartyrs Hermalos, Hermippus, and Hermocrates. On this day, we also commemorate Saint Paraskevi, the devout martyr of Christ. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyr Oraiozella. Or, on this day, we also commemorate the devout Ignatius Styronites and consecration of the church Archangel Gabriel over in Chaldea and Saints Apion and Jerusalem. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen.